G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be attempting to draw on a flipped display because I'm an idiot. Look, obviously at the end of the day, the videos you guys enjoy watching most are the ones where I'm going through horrible torture and I as a YouTuber am an attention whore, so I'm going to keep doing that. And the idea of drawing on a pad tablet where the monitor that I'm looking at is flipped horizontally uh, occurred to me and I thought that's a fantastic torture method. Let's do that in a video. Now before I jump into the activity I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Hueyon, who have sent me the Hueyon Inspiroy Q11KV2. It's quite large as well, there's a huge surface area. And wait, where are the wires? They're nowhere to be seen! I mean, that's not entirely true. It does come with this because it has to charge the tablet. But the point is it has a wireless receiver so you can plug it into your laptop and work wirelessly. Equipped with eight customizable shortcut keys and a locking key so you can easily zoom in and out of the canvas, adjust the brush, scroll up and down and adjust the volume with one short key. An upgraded battery, free stylus, a new pen holder and the device and pen feature tilt functionality with a huge amount of pressure sensitivity and all those pro specs wrapped up nicely in an extremely affordable price point makes this device something you may not want to miss if you're looking to enter the digital art and animation world or want to upgrade your setup or have some extra utility at your fingertips. Click the link in the card or any of the shop links in the description and use the coupon code Q11KTILT to get 5% off this awesome device and a huge thank you of course to Hueyon for sponsoring this video. I'm just going to do a really quick little sketch here for you. I guess this can set the standard of my art capabilities before we get into the embarrassing stuff in this video. And as you can see, just within a minute or so, a device capable of throwing in some nice little results there, but now is where I mess everything up. I'm gonna make this a little bigger, move it off to the side, and now I'm going to try and copy that, but this time with the display flipped. This is what Photoshop looks like, and this is what my attempt at art looks like. Oh god, it's already starting. Okay, now as you can see, I've mounted my top-down hand camera, so you can see my hand move to the right as the cursor moves to the left, and my hand moves to the left as the cursor moves to the right which is the painful bit. When I go to go to the layers, I have to go to the bottom right on the, the tablet, but which is now the bottom left on the monitor. I'm selecting the, the sketch layer. I'm gonna go up and find my construction pencil. Okay, that seems okay so far. Now I'm gonna attempt to draw the same face, but mirrored. I need to draw a circle and it, we're going like, <laughs> oh, oh no, oh. I have to just try and detach my brain from what is happening visually. Maybe if I just look at the tablet, I'm drawing draw a circle. Sort of worked. Eye line down here. Oh. Eye line down here. <laughs> That's not, I'm flipping. Oh no! My brain literally just flipped it upside down and went down is up. But down is still down. Like if I go down, down is down. It's just the left and right, but my brain is trying to like figure out what's going on. I'm gonna try and do this slow and steady. So we're going down slightly to... That's up still! <laughs> down, 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 Nagnal. Down, down into the... What am I doing? <laughs> down, and then there we go. Okay, okay. Down, there we go. We're going, there's the chin, and I'm going up the jawline, and then up, and then where the ear is like that. <gasps> oh, oh, it's terrible. This feels like when I did the etch -a sketch videos, you just keep getting mixed up as to what's up and down and what's left and right, and my brain is doing the same thing. And you guys remember how much I loved the etch -a sketches. This is seriously stressful. I feel like I'm diffusing a bomb. <laughs> All right, hairline. Going to the left, right. I'm gonna stop saying what direction I'm going up. is not down. <laughs> Talking about the direction I'm going in. It's not helping. I know you guys give me crap for doing the Jazza Avatar all the time, but it's my it's my test the waters character. Every time I try a new medium or try a new challenge, I gotta gotta try it out with the Avatar. It's the the comparison point for all mediums, and it's just obnoxious but consistent. Oh hey, okay, we're going down. I'm getting confident now. There's the sideies. I, no, lost my confidence. <laughs> now remember, down is down. Down is no, no. Uh, 
Now for that classic charming jazzer smile that you guys love so much. There it is. <laughs> that looks terrible and beautiful at the same time. All right, so there you go, that's how this works. Let's call that a warm up because that did take some time, but I, I felt like I started to, to develop some mechanisms to, to sort of use to anchor my thinking. So what I've done is I have set up a few s tests. So the first is I'm gonna do a maze. As you can see, it's repeated twice. I'm gonna start off by doing it without the screen flipped and then I'm gonna flip it and Obviously, you're gonna sort of see how that goes. Oh my God, that feels so much better. Look, look, it's normal again. Oh, how I missed you. Maze number one, you ready? I'm gonna find the way out of the maze and across and there we go. Look, simple, easy. All right, it's the same maze, same bloody maze. Uh, okay, oh, so far so good. Up and across and up. Yes, no, yes, yes, no, ah. Yeah, see? That was easy. Just took 10 times as long. That's okay, that actually went better than I expected and uh, it probably made a lot easier by virtue of the fact that I was literally copying what I'd already done, but that's fine. I'm gonna let myself have that. All right, here's another test. This is a little design test to, uh, you know, do, do a bit of an illustration. Do the first one just without any reverse monitoring, mon monitor. Let's give this lovely lady some glasses. Let's go cute little button nose, a nice little happy, cheeky little smile. Feeling confident, so I'm gonna put a bow in her hair, just like this, look at that. And do you know what, because I'm feeling confident, I'm gonna color it in. Just manually fill this in, look at this, look how simple it is to keep in the lines. Maybe she's got uh, some lovely red hair. There we go, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Let's try and do the same thing, click. Down, nope, and then we have a mouth, just like that, oh yeah. This is the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in Photoshop. Don't cry, just keep going. Be brave, put it on your brave face. Uh, it's so hard <laughs> to see what I'm doing. No! Ugh! They're like twin sisters, which one of them people are extra nice to. This, this, uh, this, this okay. Well, oh, well, that's that one done. I don't know if it's a success or not, but it's, I, it's done. What's next? Oh God, yeah, this one. <laughs> oh no. I totally forgot about this. This was a bad idea. My last test is a connect the dots. The easiest type of artwork that can be done. I tried to find one that I genuinely didn't know what the picture was so that I could try and make it emerge through the course of the, the of trying to do it. But I don't think that's actually gonna happen. Oh man, I was gonna do it with like a timer and everything, but I, I don't even think I need to do that to make it hard. I'm gonna struggle for it to even look like what it's probably meant to look like. All right, I'm gonna try and do the one on the left and then I'm gonna flip it and actually do it properly and see what it's meant to be. So there's one. So we go from one to two, which is, oh, here we go. I've done that. Okay, so from two to three, where's three? Down there. All right, oh no, down, down, that's up. Oh, I'm smashing it, 16, 17, 18, 9. God damn, this was a terrible idea. 30, 31, 32, 53, 50, I can't do this. I can't do it. 118. <laughs> Dining! Hun... Hundred... Ha... Ha... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. There's only 124! Ha! We did it! What is it? My guess is they are two mice dead. Penguins kissing. Right, let's have a look at how this is meant to go. My brain, oh man, my brain is so warped right now. The weird thing is drawing the right way up is now a challenge. One, two. Where's three? I can't read anymore. I can't do it the right way up. Oh, what have I done? This video may permanently ruin my ability to draw forever. Four. Five. Oh no! Oh no! 
<laughs> this is really unnerving me. I can feel myself like settling more and more into accuracy where like I definitely lost the ability to like predict where things were gonna be going and to cleanly put things in place. I'm slowly getting it back. Four. There you go. And I, I think it's meant to be penguins. I think that's what it's meant to be. It doesn't look much like anything. <laughs> well, the other one doesn't. Yeah, I think it's meant to be penguins like with their heads against each other or whatever. So yeah, there we go. Oh my god, that was... That has tripped me out more than I expected it would. I mean, I thought it would be hard to do, but I had no idea it would flip my actual brain to permanently not be able to comprehend numbers and directions. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have done our tests. So I'm gonna do a final artwork time-lapse with the first character drawn normally and the second character engaging them in epic combat, which I will be drawing with a flip display. You ready for the reveal? Oh, <laughs> there we are. Wow, okay. And then we have a direct comparison, of course, as to what a capable artist versus a mirrored artist looks like. The thing that's tripping me out about the whole thing is how much it messes with your brain. Like the first one, the dude on the left, with the, you know, the one I drew normally, took like 10 minutes and was really fun to draw. And the other dude took like 50 minutes and was so much work. And I was like constantly like adjusting my brain. I am never doing this again. That was horrendous. <laughs> but I gotta say, as hard as it was, I am proud of my achievement, except for the fact that the R and the L were drawn backwards. That I should have known to flip those. But anyways, ha, there we go. Problem solved. I also like the little subtle touch that in our villainous mirror man, the, uh, the left and the right hand up, because they're the wrong hands. Because the left should be right and the, because the left is right and the right is left. <laughs> oh, how fun this has been. With that said, there has been some glimpses of fun and that has been the times we'd have been able to use this device normally. The Q11K has been really fun to use when not using it inappropriately. So if you feel like having fun with art and creating digital art and animation, check out the Huey on Q11K V2. Again, they sponsored this video and sent this device for me to check out and use. I highly recommend all of Huey on's products. They have such a huge lineup of products and they're all so affordable and really high quality and they all offer different things and this is a really great sort of middle area device where you're getting the affordability and approachability of a pad tablet but you're also getting the professionalism of the increased shortcut keys the wireless capabilities the tilt functionality and it's quite a large working surface as you can see it's about uh, the frame size of a laptop it's a large working area it's been really nice to use I love the wireless functionality which I've never really played around with in a pad tablet before and it really does make a lot of difference so definitely recommend the Q11K V2 go check it out the link is in the card in the description and of course you can use that coupon code to get 5% off of your purchase ladies and gentlemen this has been a lot of fun make sure to leave your comments in the comment section below for future challenge ideas and stupid things you want me to torture myself with because that's what I like doing that's not true I don't like doing it but you keep watching it so I'm gonna keep doing it so, so 
<laughs> Leaving suggestions down below for how I should torture myself next. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to Draw With Jazza for more pain with art, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.